I think that one of the main problems that I see with recreational players is they have taken the concept of following the ball to a, to an exaggerated, un, unfortunate place, right? So we've all been taught to follow the ball, but what, what happens when you follow the ball, and I'm going to move this so you can see the court. Oh, um, visual aids. Is, this is great. Yeah, so, so when these players move side to side, because they're following the ball, right? The ball goes here, they go there, the ball goes there, they move here. What happens when you move that way is that this person gets too close to the alley. And when you're standing in the alley, you're leaving 90% of the court for your partner. And also there's middle confusion. Who gets the middle ball? I don't know. Who gets it? Is it yours or mine? So no one gets it or they both go and they crash. So we solve that by staggering. When we stagger, one person is slightly in front of the other. And this person is responsible. Now who's responsible for the middle ball and whoever's closest to the ball. Because in tennis forever, in doubles, whoever's closest to the ball has the first run at the ball. So now that they're staggered, they get the middle ball and they get, they're responsible for the lobs. So if the lob goes over them, they have to go get it, which is proper positioning and court coverage. Um, and then we give away this shot, which is the lowest percentage of the lowest percentage of shots that, you know, even uh, pros don't make all the time, right? And in my coaching of recreational players, you know, three, five, four, oh, or four fives make that shot one out of 10 times. So you, you don't really want to cover the shot in tennis that goes in one out of 10 times.